Well, New South Wales is certainly well placed. We've had a number of rising stars now becoming established stars like Jack Callaghan, Cam Hart, Josh Gallagher, and also a new breed of the rising stars. One in particular based in Tamworth is Gemma Coney. I caught up with Gemma on one of her very rare visits to Clubman Angle. Well, Gemma, nice to catch up with you. How was that one of your rare experiences here at Clubman Angle going around in the ladies' invitation? Yeah, it was a really good experience. It's good to get out there on the Menangle track on such a big night. It was a real privilege. A very competitive feel. There's some outstanding talent in that uh, lady driver's ranks these days. Yeah, it was really good to drive against some of the best trained women in Australia even. Um, yeah, it was really good just to be invited to it. And hopefully we're going to be seeing you down here, maybe on a more regular basis, although those Tamworth horses may just find it a bit tough down here. Yeah, we saw Dad doesn't really have the horses that come down here, but if we ever found one, I'd definitely be down here. And, um, yeah, I'd like to base myself here one day, but it's just a matter of um, finding the right opportunity. Yeah, Dad, Greg's now been at Tenworth for four or five years? Yeah, yeah, he moved up there from the uh, south coast just because of more regular racing and um, closer racing, like just a walk to the races. So, um, yeah, he's enjoying it and he's had some of the best seasons that he's ever had. There seems to be no shortage of numbers in his stable. No, we've got about 17 there at the moment, um, probably the most that we've had since he's moved up there. So, um, yeah, he does it all for me, so I'm really grateful for that. Jim, you've only been driving for around two years, but you've already notched 67-odd winners. Yeah, I've had a lot of luck. Dad, I couldn't have done it without Dad and the support of some other trainers. Um, yeah, I've had a lot of luck, so it's been really good. What's been the career highlight so far? Oh, that's a hard one. I haven't really won any big races or anything, but... Um, I think I'll, a few nice horses that I've driven would be the highlight that I've um, had, yeah. Did you drive three on one particular program? Uh, yeah, I've had two travels so far. That's not too bad for such a young young lady. Yeah, I just got knocked off on the fourth one. Our, our stable mate um, won the, the last race and I wasn't driving that one, so it could have been four, but um, yeah, I'm happy with three at the moment. It's really good. Jimmy, you just made uh, reference to the fact that you would look to come down to Club Lingo, like so many young participants have, and join one of the powerful stables for more experience? Yeah, I'd like to. I think it would just open my opportunities a bit more and get a bit more experience. Um, I moved down to Hunter Valley for a while there and worked for Clayton Harmy, and I, I learnt so much there, so I could imagine what moving down here would, would do. Well, a lot of the rising stars who are now established stars made the move from country areas to be based here at Club and Angle. Yeah, and I think a lot of that has to do with finding the right opportunity in the right stable, um, whether it is in another junior driver sort of thing. So, yeah, it's just the right place, right time, I think. Jim, we're only 19, so this question is going to be a little bit out there at this particular stage of your career, but no doubt you would like to follow in your dad's footsteps and become a trainer driver? Yeah, hopefully one day. For now, I'd like to stick to the driving, though. I'm pretty um, keen on that at the moment. But, yeah, definitely one day in the training ranks. Outside of your dad, I know he would be number one, but any other influences? Um, my sister Maddie, I followed her around all the tracks when she used to go here, there and everywhere. Um, look up to her a lot. Um, but, yeah, no, probably just dad and Maddie. I haven't really had much to do with many other people. And back to the race at Tamworth, always very competitive. Yeah, people say that Tamworth's the easiest track, but it's actually pretty hard there. You've got to have the right draw and the right sort of run, I guess. It's not always the easiest. Um, but yeah, no, it's a good place to race around. Um, you have good fun. And it's good to have your short career to date recognised by the powers to be being invited to contest the lady drivers and also being involved with Team Teal. Yeah, it's really good. It's really good that they get um, somewhat like people from country areas like me that don't always get to race here and get that opportunity. So I'm really grateful that I've been selected today. And although you didn't finish in the uh, top of the finishing order tonight, you still walked away with a nice little prize. Yeah, yeah, we got a nice little uh, bit of jewellery, so that's really nice of the um, team to do that. And I think we got a couple of tickets for the one of the pavilions. So, yeah, they looked after us really well. Jim, it's been great to catch up with you. Say hello to your dad, Greg. I went back many, many decades when I first started interviewing Greg, and it's now nice to catch up with his daughter. Congratulations on what you've done so far, and we look forward to watching your career unfold to bigger and better things. No worries. Thank you. Thanks.